First of all, I need to take the rear tail lights, the light bulbs, out of the tail lights of the Commodore because the focus ones are cooked. Got the bad boys. I hope this one's not blown, but it does look a little bit dark. But oh well. I'd like to say that this is rain, but I'm far from wrong. It's pretty hot today. But yeah, I had to pick up the grill from in the garage because it's finished drying and everything like that. And we're actually going to be installing it today, hopefully. Uh, fingers crossed if I get out there in time. Well, we should do. Them uh, tail light bulbs, they don't work. Uh, so off to Super Cheap or any auto parts store to pick up some new light bulbs. Yeah, so I'm off to Super Cheap uh -oh, to buy some more bulbs because Vanto a fat. <laughs> Onwards. Got the brake lights, fam. Let's install. Let's see if this one works. that um, it's actually a wiring or a fuse of some sort um, so once I get to Lincoln's I'm gonna because I'm pulling off the front bar I'm gonna bloody take off the headlights and take those DRLs off because I think that's what's causing the issue because every time I put on the brake you guys can see just there the, the little um, thing pops up put on my brake my park has come on you can see right there and what I've wired it up to yeah, so every time I put on my brake the park has come on and yeah it's not good hey, look at that train it's the rainbow serpent mad uh, but yeah so I'm gonna rip them off because they're wired into my parkers and yeah because I hope that's the issue and I hope that will be the issue and fuck off dad I'm fucking driving we made it Lincoln's now we have to do some work on the car unfortunately now put it on Lincoln now I think it's these DRL lights here that are causing the issue for the little shortage so I'm going to take these off because anyway this one is broken because yeah water's got into it so I've had enough replacing them so let's just take them off all, all together. Mate this is too often. This is way too often. Now that I think of it I generally think that this car has been in a wreck only because they don't come out blue, they come out with a factory colour and this factory colour is not blue um, it's got record writing as well and there's just a few other bodgy shit and plus this headlight's a lot cleaner and a lot newer than this headlight but put them two to do together because yeah you think it's fucking broken and look at that, it's not properly secured but you guys can get the gist it's actually going to look so good. So Lincoln started up his own um, fucking <laughs> his own paint shop. Yeah, just <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Lincoln. To be fair, this front bar is trash. But yeah. Oh, oh, it's all fucking mounted up. She's nice. Oh, Lincoln, where do you get the paint matching from? Office works or? Okay. Not behind point pen. Oh, fuck, that looks good. That looks similar. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Dries. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lucky that's underneath so no one sees that. But oh well, shit happens. Let's put her on the car, eh? Hey? Let's put her on the car. So we have finally. So we're done with the grill mounting. Just need to figure out how we're going to mount it on here. Like, I don't know, we're going to just drill it in, but we're going to see how visible it is behind this grill. Yeah, the numplate, I mean. 
Thanks, Lincoln. <laughs> well, shout out to SNS Powder Coating again doing this for me because yeah, it looks good. Now I can show it off. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Oh, that's wet. It's not properly mounted at all, it's just dangling there. But yeah, you guys get the gist. It's gonna look awesome. Just need to put that number plate behind there, I reckon. Lincoln wants to put it up over here. But I don't know yet. We'll see. So my brother has a good point and he has a awesome argument. We're gonna mount it right here. Being because you're not gonna see much of the XR5 and also it's gonna be very hard to see behind there at night time. And I don't wanna get fucking harassed by police or anything like that. So I'm just gonna mount it over here. Mounting it over here is too mainstream. So we're gonna go for a little um, Euro look. Hey, look at that, that's gonna look all right, I guess. Finesse it in, Lincoln. Finesse. You know what? I like it. That looks very, very, very aggressive, if you ask me. I like it a lot. Looks really clean, but also subtle, but also aggressive. That's awesome, I like it. For 30 bucks, you can grab yourself a custom grill. It's awesome. So Lincoln's put that little umbrella up there so you can hopefully see the XR5 better. And look at it. Oh, mate. Lincoln's finessed it really well. Ah, oh, mate. I like it a lot. Fuck yeah. Finished doing a few orders, now I need to get something to eat. It is currently 3.30 in the afternoon, and um, I think HJ's sounds like a treat. And the closest one is at Cannon Hill. So if you're on the south side, or if you're on the north side, go to Cannon Hill, uh, because they're the best at fast food. Um, yeah, hit up Cannon Hill. Alright guys, so this is where I'm going to leave today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe because it helps the channel grow. So, today we've put the new grill on. That looks good. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that that grill looks better than the OEM grill. I personally think it looks really good. For the bank for buck, it looks amazing. And also, believe it or not, we fixed the, the rear tail lights. And yeah, they're just... They're, they're working whenever they want to work, believe it or not. And um, yeah, so with them awesome things, I want you guys to stay fresh, stay clean, and I'll see you in the next scene.